Hi, let's us walk through how to set up wireless interface on Voyager camera. Please make sure your broadband modem and your router are both running and working. In order to let Voyager camera to connect to wireless router on wireless, we need to connect the wired Ethernet first. So that SmartBot has the default communication channel to Voyager and set up Voyager's wireless network. Upon setting up wireless, you can unplug wired Ethernet, and Voyager will be able to talk on wireless afterward. Now, plug the Ethernet cable to one of LAN port Truter. And on the other end, you plug into Voyager camera. OK, let us power on Voyager camera. When you see the green light on the camera then you are ready to go. I would assume you already set up SmartBot. Otherwise, please go back to Voyager SmartBot set up tutorial video again. OK, let us bring up Voyager SmartBot application. Then go to the view page. Again, go to tools to add a camera or click the right button on your mouse to add a camera. Let's allow SmartBot detect camera for you. It will remind you to make sure you connect Voyager Camry appropriately. The camera's Ethernet interface has been found in the list box. We will use this connection to activate camera wireless setup. Select it and go next. SmartBot will ask you to select wired or wireless connection. Then we select wireless here. And go next. Click here, and a web based wireless setup page pops up. Voyager camera will show us a list of available wireless routers near the camera. Let us select the router I am using. And click show all or next step to continue. SmartBot will ask us the type of wireless encryption. If you set an encryption on wireless router, then you need to set a correct encryption key accordingly. Here is an example of using a Santi hotspot router which does not need to set an encryption. Then we connect directly. Camera will connect the wireless router and try to get a legal IP or network address from your router. OK, it works. Otherwise, you need to recheck your wireless router setting and redo it again. Let's us close the wireless setup page. And go next. Now, wireless is working then we may disconnect the wired Ethernet cable from camera. Next. It is recommended to reboot the camera, and camera will reconnect the wireless router again. Since it reconnects via wireless, we need to log in again. Enter username and password. Default for both are root. And select your prefer video storage resolution. Higher resolution will take more storage space but gives us much clear picture. Click next. Once you see the video then it works on wireless connection. Lastly, give a name of the camera location. Then we are done. And you can relocate your wireless camera to your desired location. Now you see the video on wireless interface from the camera. You may go to rule editor to set the people recognition to start to record the video. Thank you.